This video covers Power SDR KE9NS revision 2.8.0.2 and all the new modifications. First off, in the setup, general user interface, this uh, PowerMate now also controls a flex control. So, if you want an alternate tune step rate, right, instead of using the tune step up here, which is for the mouse wheel, uh, you have this alternate if you check this box and you have a flex control now you can use this alternate right here it's 100 Hertz you know, plus and minus to change the tune step rate if you have a power mate just activate it here I've got a power mate knob so I've got it at 100 Hertz so I can uh, change it in 100 Hertz steps as opposed to the mouse wheel which is in 500 and now uh, the, the um, ID timer I've added uh, some features now everything's a right click uh, left left click turns it on and off right click goes between in this case I got waterfall this right here would indicate it's just going to be a pop-up on the screen and there's a checkbox on the pop-up so you can choose to have the pop-up disappear after five seconds or stay on there until you click uh, click the button voice ID and CWID and then two new quick play buttons over here. Now in the wave folder I've added a noise on top so you can keep this on top now. I've added a button to open up the mp3 file so that if you make some recordings uh, you'll see the mp3 folder right here so you can uh, quickly email your friends the, the mp3s. Uh, there's four buttons here for doing quick audio files. These two are for the the ID timer. Uh, these two reply and CQ are for these buttons here and it's going to automatically create the file, make a copy of the file, rename the file for these four buttons. So there's no problem with that. Uh, you, you click it once to start the recording, click it a second time to stop the recording. Basically give yourself about one second after you are done before you click it the second time to give it enough time to save the recording. So I'm going to make a reply right now, and that's just going to be my call sign. Kilo Echo 9 November Sugar. Now it's going to use the recordings for the, um, oh dear, it saved the file. It's going to use the settings for your microphone. So whatever you got for your TX, and these are the TX settings here, your high and your low, if you got your EQ on, it's going to use all those, uh, those settings in the recording. So I made the recording to play the recording back. I just hit the reply button. Kilo Echo 9, November Sugar. There it is, it transmitted it, unkeyed it. Now it keeps it in focus, so if I want to hit the enter key on the keyboard, that it, it will, uh, Kilo Echo 9, Kilo Echo 9. It'll, I can start and stop it by the, the, the keyboard. I've got a second one here for, uh, instead of just using your saying your call sign, let's say, uh, to, to make a contact uh, with a DX station, you can just keep hitting your call sign, but I've got another button here for if you want to be the DX station or you're in a contest, thank you, thank you, thank you. so that's another button to do to do that. So you got the, the four buttons in there, and if you hit right click on the play, you'll see here's the files that it actually recorded, here's your standard quick audio files in there. If you select any one of these, that's going to be what the play button is going to play. What you want to do to get back to playing the most recent recording one is you want to hit the cancel button. Now this play button will just hit the most the most recently recorded quick play. So that's it for the those files uh, in the CWX panel. I made these fonts just a little bit bigger done some more tweaking uh, but that's it